Hey guys, today I am going to be trying out Kermel Rose, Miss Kermel, and I'm going to be checking out her cleansing milk. This is a new product, so stay tuned if you're interested. <laughs> creator, jewelry designer, writer slash blogger, and devotional writer. And I would welcome you to hit that notification bell so you can get the latest uploads and that will also help me grow my channel and bring me up in the algorithms. So with no further ado, let's get started. Now I'm going to swing you around this way and set you up, pop you up here. Oh baby. Let's get it together now. Okay. So, I'm going to be taking out these twists, which I've had in for quite a while. But I did moisturize recently, I, I think um, two days ago. It was feeling pretty crunchy, so I had to let it go. Before, I, I, I never like to wash my hair when it's completely dry because you get more um, shedding. And I want to spritz with some water. And this is cold water, so I'm going to fill it up with some hot water. just going to comb this through. Now it says on the bottle that you just lather, you just put it on your dry hair which I'm surprised because um, I normally rinse my hair and then add shampoo so it can lather. So I'm not exactly sure. Maybe this one more time. Here it says to apply he didn't say anything about rinsing your hair first. So, I hope I'm doing this right. It will be slightly damp since I'm adding water. I just can't see putting that cleansing product with no water. Unless it's a dry shampoo. <laughs> and this is not a dry shampoo, it's actually liquid. A gel type, you know, like a regular shampoo looking texture. So, and my hair is long, long overdue for a wash. So, I don't really don't like to use new products when my hair is dirty, dirty. But, I wasn't expecting to find this in the store. They were all sold out on the website, as I said earlier. So I just swooped it up. This is my normal routine before I wash my hair anyway. I just comb it through. Comb each section through. To avoid any extra knots and tangles while I'm washing it. It has a lot of oil in my hair, I guess from the last time I moisturized. I haven't been getting much single strand knots, so I'm surprised that I'm... I had trimmed my hair, maybe that's why. But I noticed... 
maybe I talk too soon. I'm just gonna snip that. My nose is running. Hold on for just a second. Out the best when it's dirty. <laughs> Look at those waves. <laughs> Look at those waves. Whenever I, it always does that whenever I am not trying to do a style, it comes out really super curly. And it's always usually wash day. And what I think I'm going to do is just, I'm not doing small sections with this product because I'm not sure. Camille Rose is usually, let me pull up. Camille Rose is usually um, a very concentrated product and you don't need much. So I'm going to use, I mean a liberal amount, but not a whole lot because I don't want it to be super, I'm not sure if it's going to suds up or I'm not sure if it's going to be, you know, the opposite. I'm not exactly sure what to expect. And I'm not sure why they call it a cleansing milk either, like, hair milk, you know, I've heard of hair milk but not a cleansing milk. Uh, I'm not sure how. I'm just going to use it like a shampoo. I'm sure they have videos which I haven't even checked out to see how other people have what they've done. So. This is my comment, by the way. So. I always like to really make sure the back is combed out from the roots. Okay. Now, this here comes the fun part. <laughs> told myself I'm not gonna I'm not getting start just starting or jumping off this new year with new products this may be maybe the last product I feature for a while a new product because I have found pretty much my um, staples and I'm not trying to introduce any more new products in my hair so I am going to squeeze. My hands are so oily. It's not coming out. Oh, it's hard to come out. Hold on. It's very thick. It's thicker than what I thought it was.
guess I'm going to have to do it this way. I didn't want to do it this way because I don't want too much to come out. It's, it smells really good. <laughs> of course, Camel Rose, their products always smell good. It smells like um, candy. Like um, It reminds me of some type of candy that I had when I was little. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so thick. What happened? It wasn't like this the other day. Because I looked at it the other day and it wasn't this thick. I don't know. What happened? How do I get it out of the bottle? Look. It's I don't understand how to use this product. Why is it so thick? It wasn't the other day when I opened it, it wasn't this texture. I'm just going to slather it in and I'm going to do big chunky sections. I don't know about this. I hope I don't have to rewash my hair. I'm just kind of confused with this texture. When I first opened this bottle last week, it was like a gel. And as you can see, it's like a creamy texture now. I don't know. I'm going to just part in sections. I wonder if this is like a cold wash because my thing is I don't do cold wash and that's what this feels like it feels like a cold wash I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this people If y'all have used this, I would be interested in your comments. Let me know if yours is the same texture, if I got a bad batch. I don't know. I may have to look at some other YouTube videos and see what they're saying about this product. question mark for me. Got the hair on my fingers that just won't leave. I do not like how this is like if it's gonna be this thick they need to put it in a different jar that you can get it out of. Like how do you get the stuff out of here? I do not like experimenting on my hair. Do not use me as a guinea pig. That's one thing. That's why I'm very careful about the products I use. I know Camille Rose is a good product. That's why I'm not really concerned about like the quality. I know that their products are good quality. It's just I don't like 
co-washes. I like a shampoo. When I bought it, I wasn't thinking of a co-wash. I was thinking, because I didn't read the back. I just was like, I was so excited to, to find it in the, in the store. So, I, gosh, I don't know. Why me? My hair does not need a co-wash right now. It needs to be scrubbed with some shampoo. <laughs> oh man. I was not thinking like it didn't even occur to me when it said to just apply it on dry hair that it's a co-wash. Because oh. for me, if I'm going to do a co-wash, it has to be in between my regular wash day. Not where I know I really need to do a shampoo. Because then I feel like I need to rewash my hair in a couple of days. I'm just getting in the roots. Get the scalp. That's the most important part is the scalp. Which I have not done. I should use my apple cider vinegar with this, but I didn't bring that upstairs. Oh man. Scrub the roots. I have to say my hair feels extremely soft, but it doesn't feel clean. Okay, let me rinse it under water. Maybe the water will make a difference. Maybe it will suds it up, hopefully. And I will take you with me. So, let's take a walk to... I'm going to do my hair in the kitchen today. I normally do it in the bathtub, but since I'm doing this video... It's easy for me to record from the sink. So, follow me to the kitchen. soften my hair when I was rinsing it out but I feel this is not the product that I would use personally for my hair because I don't normally do like in between washes when I wash I just do a shampoo 
a complete wash day. I don't normally go and wash in between weeks. And I would recommend this product if you have shorter hair, like um, especially if you have like, you know, just um, a TWA and you wash more often. Where you can just actually just slap this in your hair in the shower and just, you know rinse it out real quick. I think this would be a great product for TWAs. For me, it takes a long time for me to do my hair on a wash day, and that's why I don't, really don't do in between washes. So I do a deep cleansing when I wash my hair because it's it's very time consuming and it takes a lot for me to get my hair done. So I normally don't do like these quick, um, I can't do a wash and go, my hair doesn't do wash and go, so I don't do none of that. And this product is not going to really, feed, you know, do me any, any good because um, my hair is just still, I didn't feel like a clint, like it doesn't feel, I feel like I'm going to have to wash my hair in a couple of days or like by the end of this week because I just don't feel like it's fresh. Um, it feels clean as far as me putting my, running my hands through it. And I did see like the water was murky, you know, it was kind of grungy looking. So I'm sure it did release a lot of the dirt and grime that was in my hair. But I just, I don't know, I just feel, for me, shampoo is what I, I'm a stickler for shampoos. Um, so, since I'm going to be rewashing my hair in about a few, to, in a couple of weeks, I mean, not a co in a couple of days, or by the end of this week, I am going to just do a leave-in conditioner. I am not even going to do a deep conditioner um, today. I'm just going to do something real quick. Since I'm going to be rewashing it anyway, it doesn't make sense for me to put a deep conditioner on because um, I'm going to rewash my hair. So. I'm going to be using the Almond and Avocado Detangling Leave-In Conditioner and I will come back. Actually this will probably be the end of the video because I'm just going to twist my hair. It's nothing that you haven't seen before. I featured that multiple times on my video. So I am going to end this video here. I'm just going to use this product and I'm going to follow up with my coconut money, which I'm sure you all are familiar with by Design Essentials. So these two products are Design Essentials and then I'm going to put a hair mousse in here by Design Essentials and this goes with this product line. So this is how we're going to be rolling today. So thanks for joining me on this video. Um, I recommend, I, I'm not going to give this a bad review, um, this is a personal choice, it's a preference, so you need to try this for yourself if you're interested in seeing how this works. It does make my hair feel soft, and um, I'll comb it through so you can actually see, because I haven't, I haven't even combed it yet. And this is without pro any kind of product on it, so straight from the wash, and it combs straight through, no tangles. But also, I'm using this comb. <laughs> this comb is the bomb. It really helps with them um, detangling. So I'm just gonna finish combing this out and adding my conditioner and. Appreciate you watching. Um, add your comments below. Share the video if you're interested in sharing with somebody you that would be interested in this video. And of course, subscribe. You know, you gotta um, be part of the family. So on that note, thanks for joining me on this video, and we will chat later.